Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a complete 15-0 championship challenge guide, which is literally out tomorrow. So I'm going to be giving you guys the best brawlers, the best tips, the best builds, all of that good stuff. So before we jump into it, make sure you're using the credit code. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay guys, so hopping into the first set, we have out in the open a brand new knockout map, which is actually in the Power League rotation, and I believe in a competitive rotation. So pretty interesting. For me, I kind of enjoy it. it feels a lot different to all the other knockout maps it's a fight for the middle and a lot of times you always have that one brawler down the right kind of applying that pressure so this is the kind of attitude to take with this map so you always need that one middle brawler for me piper is like the best brawler on this map because she's so good at asserting so much pressure in the middle brawlers like bella as well just so good because of that bounce mechanic being able to hit one brawler and then scout out the rest of the grass so for me you've got to have one of those two snipers in your uh, composition. So you've got a lot of other brawlers as well. Leon's really good uh, with that gadget because it can help you get into the grass a little bit better, uh, especially down that right-hand side. You can pop it behind the wall. It can be pretty good or just defensively as well. It can be pretty solid. So you've also got the likes of Cole. Cole is absolutely amazing in this meta and he's probably the best flanker inside of a game, especially uh, with his pickaxe being able to basically wall peek around. It's just going to be really annoying for especially the brawlers that come Kind of group up in the middle like you do normally there's like two people in the grass and one flanking as i said before so carl is the perfect kind of pressure brawler gene is really good at scouting the grass sometimes i actually use the vision gear i did use it in power league especially counter brawlers like leon but also just to know where the enemies are in that grass the entire time it can actually be a decent underrated strategy bonnie's just insane and knockout probably one of our worst knockout maps because uh, for the most part People might uh, actually clump up in the middle. Bonnie likes to go for those brawlers that are isolated, but she's still pretty solid in knockout. Uh, Bo's going to be amazing in knockout, especially with just his mechanics with his shooting. He's able to scout a lot of the grass with one piece of ammo, so he's pretty good right there. Uh, Squeak is amazing on this map because uh, you're going to know that they're in that middle grass, right? So that gadget is going to be amazing. Uh, just his normal shots can just be really good at scouting the entire bit of that middle grass. And then Penny as well. I won't really say she's complete best in knockout, but she's really solid, especially without a tour. Okay, so now moving on to set number two, we have Minecart Madness. So for Minecart Madness, every single brawler, I would often use the damage and shield gear, a little bit of an error in the graphic, but anyways, the best brawlers for this map. So for me, the number one brawler you have to use is Carl. Carl is so insane on Minecart Madness. Whenever Carl is pretty much strong, he's like the best brawler on this map, just because of his wall peak and mechanics and just overall being able to be really aggressive behind those walls, just being able to shoot around the corners. It's just really good. His super is actually really strong on this map, so definitely be using Carl if you're confident enough to use him so you've got other brawlers as well so for the middle option there's a few decent brawlers you've got the likes of Bo, Jean, Piper, Bell you can use as a mid or a lane definitely really strong uh, the likes of Crow are just absolutely insane here so the slowing mechanic is just made for this map you can catch so many people off guard especially with a gem carrier if you get a nice slow onto them so uh, that Crow gadget going to be essential I'll pretty much I'll put Crow into near enough every single combination if possible uh, the likes of Jam it as well going to be insane you can play her as a mid or a lane she's going to be really strong uh, just again like wall peaking capabilities and just overall the pressure that you can put on with janet in gem grab you can literally be losing you can use a super fly away up to the map and basically change the weight of the game really really fast so that's why she's so good bonnie's going to be pretty good as a lane or a mid uh, i would say you can use her pretty much as eva probably get a little bit more value using her as a lane because then you could be a little bit aggressive with our super Bo going to be really good of course squeak going to be really annoying with the minecart mechanics and penny is definitely really strong here just got to watch out for the minecarts because that penny turret can get destroyed by it so moving on to set number three we have open zone so this was a power league um, map last season i don't think it actually is this season so you guys are probably a little bit familiar with this map uh, so for me these are the best 10 brawlers so the likes of leon really insane crow as well just being able to uh, slow a lot of people on this map of course it's very open hence the name those slows are going to be so good at gaining control just scouting the grass as well with his normal main attack crow is just built for this map of likes of leon it can be really good because he just easily placed that gadget uh, down behind that middle wall not many walls on that map so just being able to at least get a little bit of uh, maneuvering around the middle can be really good because of that gadget uh, janet can of course be really good uh, because of her main attack 
attack spread and just again that super being able to flank the opponents really really good pam is insane on this map because of that widespread attack and then also once you get your super you can push up to the wall and it can be really hard for the enemies to really do anything and then also you can place your turret defensively and it can be really hard for the enemies to destroy it so pam is a really good ruler especially to get a low percentage same with lola as well so those are the two type of brawlers that are good for getting percentage right you don't just want really squishy brawlers that can't get any percentage but can do a lot of damage you want at least one brawler in the composition that can stay in the zone for a long time so those are likes of pam lola can be really strong at this because of her gadget being able to buy a lot of time Leon can be really good at it. Stu is another brawler which uh, tend to play in the middle, especially uh, with the gas uh, heal style power and also the speed gadget just being able to zip around a lot and uh, get a lot of percentage. Bonnie, of course, can be really strong. Nice open map for her. Same with Bo. Those mines can be really strong in the middle. Squeak and Penny, still really OP. So those are going to be the strongest brawlers there. So next up, moving into set number four, we have Backyard Bowl. So Backyard Bowl, another open map. So you see the kind of same theme here. A lot of longer range brawlers and the same brawlers pop up here so the likes of crow again absolutely insane so in power league you can often go leon and max because you can ban crow i won't really go those two brawlers because crow is one of the strongest brawlers right now and he just hard counters them so much so i put them on there because they're still pretty strong when the enemy doesn't use crow but just bear that in mind so also uh, the likes of janet of course can be absolutely insane best brawler in the game right now so that is why as uh, she's pretty much on every single composition right here the likes of pam can be so strong uh, because just really good defensively and then once you get your super you can push up use your gadget really aggressively as well she's just kind of perfect for backyard bowl always been really meta here same with lola as well kind of uses uh, her gadget to uh, make sure she can tank a lot of shots and make sure she's keeping her own especially behind those walls likes the spike gonna be really good always been good on backyard bowl He's fallen off a little bit in the meta so far. That's why you're not seeing him too much. But he's really strong on this map because he can hold his own so well behind that wall and then go aggressive with his super. Bonnie going to be absolutely insane on backyard bowl because she's the perfect brawler to stay in the middle with that high HP long range. And then once there's a brawler on its own down one of her flanks, she can easily just jump on them with that really long style power. Uh, Bo, of course, can be really strong on this map as well with his uh, totem gadget. He's able to get a lot of value behind those walls, so that can be incredibly strong strong uh bell as well really really strong in the middle and then penny as well those walls there's just so many walls to, to put that turret behind and the last time penny was somewhat meta here she was so dominant so she's one of the best brawlers in the game of course she's going to be really strong here so back your bowl uh the kind of tips on this map of course always you've got to be really careful uh, with this one and not overextend because it could be so hard to score in this map you see a lot of draws on this one so make sure you get like the perfect team wipe and make sure you get uh, score those opportunities because they don't really come very often okay guys and lastly for the final set we have shooting stars so the same generic brawlers are going to be good here i don't think this meta really uh, i've ever changed except for power league where there's like six bands it is very vast there but when it comes to just normal like ladder kind of gameplay the same brawlers are going to be strong so i think the number one composition should still be the likes of tick uh, nanny and piper those are going to be like the three strongest brawlers just because of nanny's super being able to just target so many different brawlers and one shot them so so p piper as well being able to one tap someone and then follow up with a gadget it's going to be so op on this map tick is just really good in the middle at keeping people at bay and just really spammy so you got a lot of other options as well so leon going to be really good on shooting star seeing a lot of it especially with that gadget just being able to uh, apply so much pressure uh, with his super as well can be really good uh, the likes of pam can be pretty solid as well normally to counter the type of aggro brawlers so i won't really use her too often unless you keep facing uh, a lot of aggressive combinations you know like some max leon pam can be a decent counter to that same with crow as well not on the actual graphic but i have used a bit of crow uh, when it comes to shooting star because the enemy team has used the likes of max and a leon so crow can be the perfect counter there i have likes of bonnie are just absolutely insane on shooting star because again she's got one of the longest ranges inside of a game one of the highest hps and then you could just launch yourself onto an enemy pretty easily and on shooting star for the most part you're going to be uh, kind of separated you're going to be in your different lanes really far apart from each other so it should be an easy kill for bonnie 
are going to be okay on this map. Bell going to be pretty good because of the range. And Jean's going to be a good counter as well to the likes of Leon and all those other brawlers. You can just keep your range with Jean a lot of the time. But same with Shooting Star. It's always down to those kind of 1v1 scenarios. Unless you play like a synergy composition with Max. Uh, but overall, it's just whether you hit your shots or not really. So that's going to be the final set right there. Alright guys, it's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think of the graphics in the comment section below. Whether you want me to change anything for the future. But I think overall, these are like the best 10 brothers for each map let me know how you get on but that's gonna be it for today's video hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys next time